Based out of Mexico, indie developer Carmelo Electronics released Pine Creek in October of 2021. Pine Creek is a Game Boy Color game that came out with a physical copy that was published by Incube 8 Games. The game can be played online on itch.io, but naturally, I picked up the physical copy which included the game cartridge, a clean minimal instruction booklet with a note section I actually used, and a sticker sheet. Almost a year after purchasing the game, I slapped the cartridge into the Game Boy Player and booted it up. You play as a boy named Adso who lives in the town of Pine Creek. One day, Adso finds the local police officers surrounding his friend Judith's house. As Adso sneaks his way into the house to investigate, he is greeted by a severed finger laying atop of a satanic-looking pentagram on the floor of her bedroom. With the help of his friends, Karen and Cass, Adso ventures out to look for possible clues leading him to his missing friend. A theory spreads throughout the town blaming a demonic cult for being responsible for Judith's murder-slash-disappearance. Light is eventually shed upon the story's unanswered questions as Adso gains the trust of various adults who aid him in finding out more about Judith. Pine Creek's gameplay is mainly narrative-based while sprinkling in some fetch quests and puzzle-solving sequences. The more you talk to the people around you, the more you are immersed into the mindset of Pine Creek's townfolk. As Adso ventures into the city, people are less inclined to talk about Judith's disappearance because a majority of them are disconnected from the happenings of a small town. Though this is later revealed to not be the case, as an underground facility where women are raped, tortured, and murdered is discovered beneath one of the city's buildings. Depending on your actions and word choices made in certain parts of your playthrough, you are granted one out of three endings. I was pretty satisfied with my ending, and I honestly don't intend to replay the game anytime soon. There are some minigame sequences that are found inside Adso's bedroom, as well as Pine Creek's arcade. An unknown game console in Adso's bedroom contained his only game, Heroes of Perestroika. In this Pokemon clone, you send Mikhail Gorbachev to battle against the USSR. Gorbachev utilizes his political reforms to dwindle down the USSR's health bar, as the USSR causes damage to Gorbachev by creating nationalist independence movements in the Eastern Bloc nations. This very specific minigame had me interested in researching Soviet politics during the 80s and 90s, so thanks to the developer for that. Inside Pine Creek's arcade, Adso is able to play My Dinner with Andre and Classic Pong. My Dinner with Andre plays through the conspiracy theory scene from the film of the same name. To me, the scene itself is hardly a conspiracy theory as it is a foreshadowing that can be linked to the modern day. A seemingly meaningful conversation to the game dev as this game was developed during the pandemic of 2020. For the most part, Classic Pong can speak for itself, but I thought it was interesting that two players can play the game without the need of a second controller or Game Boy. I'm undoubtedly biased towards 8-bit pixel art as I enjoy the simplistic designs found in Pine Creek. The town and interior building designs didn't seem lacking to me, and I literally walked around clicking on everything I possibly could for any possible dialogue options. Pine Creek's music was created by Tabike Malevolo. My favorite tracks had a brooding sound to them that matched some of the dark subject matter the game presented. The tracks were good enough for me to listen to on loop while traversing through the game. Throughout the duration of my playthrough, I could really feel how much of a passion project this game was for the developer. Near the ending of the game, the developer drops in as an NPC who talks to Adso about how much creating the game meant to them on a personal level, and the struggles they experienced while working on it. Despite being only a few hours long, Pine Creek was interesting enough for me to keep playing until I found out how the story ended. Like I mentioned earlier, I probably won't play through the game again anytime soon, 
but it was definitely a unique experience to talk about for this year's spooky season. 